is when we open it up for questions uh, from any of you. Give you a minute to think about that. While you're also thinking about questions, if I could get you to pull out the blue uh, evaluation sheet that's in your toolkit. While you're thinking about this morning's content, we'd like to open it up for you to ask any of the panel members questions. Do you have any questions you'd like to pose? If not, we have tons for you. <laughs> Well, he's got a whole list right there. Yeah. Let them evaluate first. Mm -hmm. Should be you do what I design. Yeah. That's what I do. I just to work out. That's the thing. It's probably it hasn't emerged over the last. Now we have the five rounds. That's there's so much execution. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that would have been advice. Uh, also, we have been working on Wow, in our organization? Okay, feel free to just turn your surveys over. I see most of you have just about finished your thoughts and we'll be around to pick those up later. One more time, are there any questions that you'd like to pose to any of the panel members before I have some closing comments? You know, I have I don't know. I don't. It's all pretty straightforward, I think. At least straightforward on your part. Okay, so we uh, tried doing the flat structure. Of course, my husband and then everyone else <laughs> did not work. So we're trying to implement structure and we're trying to figure it out. But what I'm really struggling with is um, so half of my employees are my web developers. So we have a web development manager and then we have so there's all of them and then there's a web development manager and then I have a manager and she's like the manager of everyone else because I only have two graphic designers and one copywriter so it's like they don't have a big enough group to have their own extra manager. My confusion is like is this web development manager the web manager or is he just like a team lead kind of thing and like 
Does that even make sense what I'm asking? Yes, completely. Thanks. Um, but I'll just be a bit of a a goof for a second and just get clarity. And what was the question you were asking? Because you described your organization quite nicely. Like, who should be the manager? Should it be this web development like team lead like guy, or should it be the girl that's the manager over like all the other creative people? Okay, so I have like so of course. Okay, so so. And now, not to be a bit of a goof, um, the real answer is, what do you want, right? See, the way you've described your work isn't really about um, flat or tall. It's about the way you group and organize the work. That's uh, actually, you have a horizontal thing to think about, right? So you have a function called web development. That's a skill set. Do you deploy web development to specific projects, one project at a time? Or do you have all projects come into that pool and say, get this task done, get this task done, get this task done? If you get the work done those two different ways, that means management is structured differently. That's all. right? I mean, it's not that simple. Like, it's not that, oh yeah, flip answer. But it, it's thinking about... What do your customers want the most? What will they pay the most for again and again and again? And then structuring your work against that. If you're account-based, then you need somebody to lead client or customer accounts and then dip into your different service lines, your service providers within the company. If you're real service-based, then the alternate is true, right? So uh, just... Just to give you a quick answer, though, like you asked me for an absolute answer within 10 seconds of knowing you and your business. Um, for 15 people, you need a CEO and an office of the CEO, which is you and your husband. You need a manager, and depending on how many functions you have, you may have uh, two managers, maybe three. And then everybody else reports to those managers. That's, that's what you need. You need three, probably, at most, three layers of management at most. How those separate out is the real nut for you to crack. That's the thing. We're trying to configure, is it two or is it three? Yeah. I know we don't want that. Um, Can I throw in something? Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Don't me. I love passing around this, this large microphone. Um, the one thing I would really focus on is your people. Who has the skill set? Who has that management skill set? That's what's causing my confusion. Right? Yeah. Because the worst thing you can do is take your best technical person and make them the manager of that group. They need to have that management skill set. So I would say start there, assess who the best management people are or supervisory people are, and then determine from there. If you only have two, there's your answer. If that third person is incredibly gifted technically, don't push them up into that management position because you'll, you'll just ruin them, unfortunately. Is it confusing to employees to say this is your team, like the person that kind of you go to when you project problems, but this is actually your manager? Like, is that confusing? Not necessarily. It depends how you the communication is. You'll find a lot of organizations now you'll have what I call triangulation. So they report to almost, or I should do it this way, they report to almost two different people, okay. but on different things. So for one aspect, they report to this individual on another aspect they report to this so that's totally okay it just depends on the communication piece sure clear. yeah clear absolutely let me just one quick one quick ad no it, it's not it's about communication it's a fairly common model that you're talking about um, but some one manager needs to be accountable for the performance of an individual not two right so if the project manager has a lot of input into that um, person's direct manager, that's fine. But you can't have both of them managing a singular employee. One person has to be accountable. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Thanks for asking that question. Any others? No? Okay then, I'd uh, like to wrap up uh, this morning's session. Thank you. Uh, it's important that you take the time for your own professional development to be here. This was the first, the next one is going to be in October. 
Hope to see you there or at that session. Today's was the first topic on workforce planning. And hopefully, having heard the three panel members, you now have something to think about when you uh, go back to the office. You need to think about how are we going to organize this or company so that it fits the organization. Second, you need to think about how are we going to align our organization with what our company is all about. And the third piece is thinking about how are we going to attract as well as retain those people. All three of those topics are where you need to start or revisit. So we hope you've got value out of this morning's session. I'd also, on behalf of the Talent Pool, like to thank our panel members. Logistically, I'll hand these to you in a minute so I don't have to run back and forth. Uh, but we appreciate the time that you gave today, the insight you gave, the tips and the tricks in your toolkit. So uh, please help yourself to more lunch uh, and uh, network for a little bit. We don't have to be out of this room until 1230. And we'll see you next month. Thank you.